Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the miss. So let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, and we are here to talk about Cardi B and Tasha K really, really fast. Okay. Now, before we get into today's mess, let's get into what's coming up next. Okay. Now, be on the lookout for a brand new episode of Boys Night Out this Saturday at nine eight Central. Um, we will be back officially. Okay, and um, we're going to be. Focusing more on hot topics um, on this particular episode, more so than what we normally focus on. We'll still do some of our games and things of that nature, but we're probably going to focus more so on hot topics that we didn't have a chance to discuss because we've been gone for so long. So be on the lookout to see myself, Maddie, Josiah, Jamar, and Terrence Saturday night at 9, 8 central. It's going to be a, um, about an hour and 15 minutes long. We already discussed it because me and Terrence have to review Love and Mary Chunsville and watch Love and Mary Chunsville. So that's why it would be a, a pretty much shorter episode than normal. But um, just be on the lookout. We will be back um, at 9, 8 central time on Saturday. Okay. So be on the lookout for that. So, Let's get into what we got going on. As you guys already know, as you guys already know, Tasha K and Cardi B have been going through a legal battle um, back in January or early February. You know, Tasha K lost the case um, against Cardi B. Um, Cardi B was awarded a $4 million case. Um, Tasha K was ordered to pay her $4 million. And then not too long ago, just maybe about a week or so, not even a week, maybe two or three weeks ago, Tasha K did an interview with Kendall Kendall basically saying, I ain't got it. Okay. And now we find out that Tasha K is reportedly being appealed, being um, basically filing an appeal in this case. Okay. So I got an article here from lovebscott.com. We're going to read it and then we're going to dissect it and move on and get up out of here. OK, so let's get into the article. So YouTube personality Tasha K was ordered to pay Cardi B roughly four million dollars in damages for defamation, invasion of privacy and intention an intentional infliction of emotional distress in January, but vowed to appeal. According to court documents exclusively obtained by Radar Online, the 39 year old blogger and media personalities legal team formally filed a notice of appeal on behalf of Tasha K on Thursday, March the 17th, exactly one month after a jury found her liable over statements that she made about Cardi B on YouTube. The above named defendants, Latasha Kibi and Kibi Studios LLC, appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit for from the final judgment entered on February 17th, 2022. The filing reads, respectfully submitted the 17th day of March 2022. Okay. As Radar reported, Tasha K's move comes after she spoke about, spoke out claiming that she doesn't have four million to give to Cardi. I ain't got it, Tasha K answered after being asked by Social Security's Kendra G if she even had the money to pay Cardi B after being found liable for the three charges of claiming Cardi B had hurt, worked as a prostitute, and enjoyed doing hard drugs. Listen, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Don't ask me for no money because I ain't got it. But listen, Tasha, continue. We have business and things in place that takes care of things like this. Now, of course, the appeal court and the Supreme Court is in process right now. Tasha's comments during the interview didn't go unnoticed because shortly after she appeared on Social Society, did I say Social Security at first? Social Society, Cardi B took to Twitter to call out the blogger. This is a game, but trust, I'm going to come for everything, the rapper retorted. Be, um, before adding, bitch better have my money. An acronym alluding to um, Rihanna's 2015 smash hit. Okay. Tasha has yet to file her brief explaining the reasons why she believes the judgment should be reversed. Tasha K reportedly admitted that she published lies about Cardi B because it was beneficial to her brand. Okay. And that was pretty much the gist of that situation. So that was the article from, um, that was the, that, that was the article from um what is it 
from lovebscott.com. Okay, now it's time for us to give our opinions on this. Um, I'm just going to say this. Um, it doesn't come as a surprise to me that Tasha Kay has decided that she is going to appeal this case. From the moment she came out in public and said, I ain't got it. I ain't got $4 million to give nobody. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I already knew that this was going to go down. Everybody knew that this was going to go down. We knew it was going to go down before she even said, I ain't got it, to be honest, because we already know. Tasha Kay probably got some money just being a YouTube blogger and things of that nature, but she really ain't got no money to be paying Cardi to be no $4 million. And none of us got that kind of money. So it ain't no shade. It's just all facts, facts on facts, facts on top of facts. She don't have $4 million to be giving Cardi B. So I don't know why she even tried to pretend like she really didn't give a fuck. If she, but she probably don't give a fuck because she knows that she ain't got it. And she probably ain't got to pay her not a dime of that $4 million at this point. And on top of that, um, when the case went down and Tasha K was at, you know, Tasha K had reached her million subscribers at one point in time, um, only for her to dramatically drop down to um, 996,000 subscribers, but she has gained back 2,000 more subscribers um, again, so she's um, pretty much on the road right back to a million, so... I mean, it's really, are we really, really surprised about that? We're really not because at the end of the day, we knew that people would unsubscribe, but we knew that people would ultimately come back to her channel and subscribe after the swelling went down. Or we knew that there would be more people that would subscribe to her anyway that probably ain't never seen her before just due to the exclusives and the stories that she do publish. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But, um... Like I said, I'm really not surprised by this at all. I already knew that this was going to go down anyway. Like, I knew it was going to happen, and I knew that she was going to appeal it because she can't pay her that money. Like, if she's trying to pay Cardi B that damn money, um, it's... um. It's going, it's, it's going to be... um. What is it? I'm going to say what? Okay. But, yeah, um... Hold on, you guys. But yeah, so what was I finna say? But yeah, so um, so um, it it, it was kind of like a. We already knew that she didn't have the money to pay, so it was it was it was like not really. Not it, it was not really um that serious we knew that she was she wasn't gonna have the money to pay anyway so it was kind of like okay she either gonna file an appeal or she gonna file for bankruptcy because she can't pay for the money she can't pay for the for the whole thing so who knows what she gonna do you know what i mean so we we kind of already knew that this was gonna come but i wonder what cardi b um feels about it and how she gonna feel because at this point it feels like her um tasha k really ain't gonna pay no four million dollars you know what i'm saying as much as people feel like she deserves to pay that kind of money. We know that it's probably never going to happen because she ain't got it to give, you know. But I wonder going forward, is she going to change her content based off of the lawsuit itself? Yes, yeah, she's not paying her $4 million, but does she want to get another lawsuit like this and be liable for misinformation, so to speak? You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So... I don't know. We're going to see how this goes, and hopefully this doesn't be drawn out another three or four years. But we're going to see how this stuff works out, okay? Now, before we go, let's get into some promotions for up-and-coming content that's coming out on Scotty by Nature TV.
And the Whether You Like It or Not panel will be returning this May, and it will star myself, Giving You the Real Tea, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. We will be covering um, Real Housewives of Atlanta and Basketball Wives, okay? We would definitely be doing that. Um, next up is, um, the influence with Reggie Artis and myself. We'll be talking about music and nothing but the music featuring appearances from some of our childhood friends, as well as CTB and others. Okay. So yes, be on the lookout for the influence and also coming in April is what, who was wrong. It will be me and 10 of your favorite content creators coming together to talk about things in certain situations on whether it be reality, TV, sitcoms, anything in a certain situation about who was wrong. We'll be having a little bit of friendly banter going back and forth about who's wrong. I'm very excited about that. And also, let's not forget about Roast and Review, okay, where me, Terrence, and Josiah roast and review Candy and the Gang and Love and Mary Chunsville every Wednesday. And it's a rotating panel, and it goes between the three of us. So if you haven't done it already, be sure to subscribe to all three of us so you can get your weekly dose of Roast and Review. And there is a playlist with every episode of Roast and Review in there. So with that being said, you guys, be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the notification bell so you can be notified Um for any type of videos that's coming out and make sure you share the video. If you want to follow me on social media, my social media accounts will be at the bottom of the video. But if you want me to follow you back on IG, all you got to do is hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag Mrs. Team Scotty. And I would definitely, definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, your boy's out of here until my next video. I'll holler at y'all later.